Hey, what is up, everybody? Blaze for here, and today I bring you guys another video of Black Clover Mobile. Inside today's video, guys, we're gonna be talking about the S5 characters while also playing some PvP. So, of course, be ready to at least see a little bit of both here. Now, um, I am sorry that you guys hear my morning voice pretty much for the most part. Yeah, your boy kind of just woke up and just was like, we got to get this video out before, of course, we go to work. So, this is what we're gonna be sounding like today. Hope you guys don't mind it too much. I'm trying not to do too many morning voice videos, to be honest. Mainly just because my mic isn't the best. Well, no, it's good. It's more like I don't understand audio. So um, it might cut me out a little bit. So do forgive me for that. But um, all right. So in the video here, we're going to be talking about S5. Now, S5 is going to be upcoming in the next few days. And it's going to be fairly, fairly interesting to actually see what happens. Now, during S5, we will actually be having the meta change incredibly more than normal. And this is actually going to be because it's going to be like, because we're going to have these two units that are absolutely freaking amazing. Like we have Magna, we have Charlotte, both of which are crazy good characters. But the main one that's going to be changing the scene of everything is going to be Char. So we're going to go ahead and go over both of these characters today here, while also just kind of just chilling for the most part. Um, if you guys like videos that are kind of chill like this, pretty much just me talking about different things, showing off different things on a different screen, and just playing some PvP, truly really do let me know down below in the comment section. Um, yeah, your boy is just going to be stumbling on some words. I can already tell it today. But we're going to go ahead and get into the video. Fully. So first things first here, I'm going to go ahead and pull up our other screen while we're actually playing this PvP match here. And that is going to be going over Magna. Now, Magna is one of the characters that comes out here who really helps out the burn meta quite a lot here. And the main thing that he is able to do is actually stun off his burns, especially making things a lot easier for the user, especially if you're using a burn team. He's pretty much one of the first few characters that came out that will pretty much really make burn really, really good. Besides, of course, Frey Goleon and things like that. But he's really darn good, to be honest. Now, the only thing that he does lack, especially one of the few things that, um, of course, that we're always going to notice is going to be pretty much, um, I would like to say the man's overall health abilities, right? Like he does not live as long as he should. And compared to other characters, he actually does die pretty dang quickly. Um, it's kind of iffy to try to use him currently. And that's what really gets him to be a little bit crazy or at least a little bit on the iffy side now is this character bad any at all no he's not bad he's really really good so don't let that judgment um sway you for his first skill here he has something called fire swing which does continuous burn damage as usual but for two turns which is actually really really nice um next after that of course we didn't also have his skill two here that actually has a continuous burn as well this one's also a single target, so of course the skill one and two are single targets here, which are amazing. Now, of course, his burns, they're for two turns. So no matter what's gonna happen, you're going to have a two turn burn on you when fighting this character. Now, alongside of this, of course, if you look at the skill upgrades, they do have some really high percentages, at least for the skill two, which can make him very dangerous. Now, if you have his skill page here, he actually is able to block your HP for two turns. That's also something that really makes him a little bit of a nuisance, in my opinion. And it can really make him one of those characters that you really do hate to fight in general. This is probably going to be one of the few things that I feel like some people who have a burn team made or have something ready of the sort. They're going to be. They're going to be the one of the crazy ones, pretty much. They're going to be a little bit of the insane one. Sorry if I actually ended up just stuttering for a second. But yeah, it's pretty interesting to say the least, right? Now for his ultimate, that is where things get a little bit crazy. Now his ultimate is where he gets an extra turn. Yes, this is one of the few things that starts to make this character really, really scary. Now, as you guys know, Julius has an extra turn. This, if he kills a person, which if you are using a burn team, you're most likely able to do that here. He's able to not only remove barriers, stack burns, but also increase the damage dealt while also giving him 
an extra turn per kill. That is the thing that's going to make him a little bit scary here, and it will absolutely make him even crazier. Now, one of the few things that he is really going to excel at is also the stunning. Now, the only bad part about this is the stunning is only for if you have his LR2 and his LR4. That is really what's going to make him really, really good, of course, um, in which it places the status element, which is really, really nice. But when also he is stat at least LR5, sorry, not LR4. When he's LR5, he actually gives himself a stun immunity permanently. I'm, I'm gonna say it right now, right? If I had the cash, I would be going for this man. And it's only just because I just don't got the money because he's actually a really, really good character. And he's actually a character that I really would like to try to play with a little bit more. It's just like, I don't have to to do so so we're going to be trying to pray that we just get him in general and see where that leads up to but pretty much magnus not that bad he's pretty dang decent his speed is a little bit slower on the at least spectrum but other than that he's pretty high in my opinion now if we're going to go ahead and just talk about season five stuff first before we get into this thank you guys for watching this i gotta straight up say it your boy definitely is going to be fumbling a lot in this video and i know but for you guys who stick around for this video thank you guys lot it really does mean a lot to me um especially when i am kind of half awake right now so geez forgive me but now we're going to get into the actual crazy one now the crazy one of all this is going to be season six or our season five charlotte this charlotte is insane bro first of all she's a green sense unit but not only that she's actually able to grant sp to people as well able to immediately have debuffs immunity she has everything in the kit that you very well so need such as things that helps out with his defense things like that that really makes them dangerous so this character is the most cracked character that's going to be out in the season and who stays in the meta for quite a long freaking time so with this being stated what what the heck does she do well as you guys can see on the screen, she helps out a lot of things here. We got the SP, we got of course the debuff community. We have even the chance of taking down our skill down twos here. But alongside of that here, she is able to use her skill, which not only does your reduce damage, but grants you defense in. Now, if you guys know what this is, you guys already know how dangerous this is. Okay, so let's let's take a good look what this is. We're on Julius right now, right? We always use the at least the combined attack with William. Guess what that combined attack does? Yeah, death pain level four. Yeah, that junk is actually scary because that means we're probably gonna be bypassing their defense by 30% um instead of 40%, which is absolutely crazy. This is what makes her a little bit insane, as well as when you have barrier characters with her, she's able to extend the duration of said barriers this character starts to make different metas and it is actually the craziest thing around here now this is probably when like i started back paying attention to jp so it's going to be a new experience for me using her but as for like me actually talking about this unit i'm not gonna lie she is the craziest insane unit and i was waiting on her to come here unfortunate part is you boy just don't have the cash to do it like that so we have to see what we can do but um along with this here she does have some other things that are really really nice her passive actually helps out everything that you very well so you need here in which every turn in which i'm gonna put this on the screen here every turn and she grants the ally who has the highest attack a barrier equal to 50 percent of their own max hp now alongside of that of course if they are five as well she actually grants them that but also gives them taunt immunity. I, I, I'm gonna be honest with you. That's lovely. That is freaking lovely. And that's only just because I utterly hate fighting radies. So things like that is automatically getting banished. And I'm actually happy as a mug. Okay, you don't understand. Like, okay, my, my excitement for this is actually disgusting high i'm not even gonna lie to myself it's stupid high because this is one of the few characters that i feel like is really gonna make the freaking game just crazy fun again so um i'm excited i'm very excited to see how that's gonna turn out for the most part here and um 
we <laughs> we'll have some fun with it. But um, those are the two characters that are really gonna be dropping with season five. Um, and that's just gonna be the characters that I'm talking about. We haven't even gotten to their cards yet, bro. So let's go ahead and take a look at their cards for a second as we're just clobbering folks, I guess. Um, first of all, let's just push back a little bit, take a little bit of damage. It's perfectly fine with me. Um, since actually, yeah, I'm just not attacking yet. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and swap back over to at least showcasing some things over here with the um, skill pages. So if we go ahead and check out the skill page, this is one of the few things that are actually newer to me. So I'm gonna be learning some of this with you guys as well. Our skill page, which is going to be Charlotte's here, is the Briar's Maiden Melancholy here, which upon tacking, uh, taking damage from an attacker, in which we already know, we got people like Julius, we got just crazy characters in general that can actually be attackers here. When we're dealing with said attackers, there is a 25% chance that can all the way go up to a 100% chance to grant a 15 through 35% reduced damage taken buff for one turn. Now, think of this. Every time she gets hit by an attacker mage, she's able to have this buff for one whole turn. Now, I don't know if you guys think that's crazy or not, but I'll say it like it is. That's freaking pretty insane. Because first of all, if you're able to have that 100% of the time and you're just able to do whatever the heck you want, that is where things are going to be insane and crazy for this character. Now, she already adds a status element buff as well when she does have the card on, but able to have everything that she offers as a defensive supporter, pretty much, she makes herself known as an absolute unit this character is going to be crazy it's going to be like one of the scarier units to really go against so surely do know having her card is going to be really really much so worth it as for mr magnet here for soul knock soul knock i actually don't know too, too much about i do know a lot of jp players do like this card but i'm un i don't understand why so we're actually going to be learning what this does for the same time here so apparently it says upon attacking an enemy you will take continuous burn damage and there is a 40% to 100% chance to grant yourself 16% to 40% increased speed buff for one turn. Okay. That actually kind of sounds great. I'm not going to lie. That kind of sounds, that actually, actually kind of sounds really good, especially for characters who, um, this is not sold like immediately bound to Magna himself. I feel like this is actually a really, really good character for any burn units who really are lacking that speed side of things here. So Soul Knock is probably going to be used quite a decent bit. So probably getting one dupe of this would actually be pretty dang awesome, especially to have on your other burn units as well. Now, when using Soul Knock here, you're able actually to give him block HP recovery for his skill too. So surely do know that's going to be absolutely amazing. But um, holy crap, that's going to be that. That's pretty darn interesting i'm actually very excited to see how these characters in here and um pretty much just going off of that but for the most part you guys let me know if you guys like some of these videos that are informational while also playing a little bit of pvp um i'm gonna continue beating the crap out of things and just trying to get up in ranks and uh i'll probably let you guys know how i did on the community page but till then everybody stay safe stay sharp and stay determined and uh yeah, we're going to clap off these guys real quick. So, peace out.